space. Spiritual leadership. Uh, I think that's good. Yeah, this is the guy, the swordsman. Give him all those first. No, look at our troop capacity now. God damn. We can have 376 infantrymen. What could possibly go wrong with that, right? <laughs> Let's actually leave them on neutral. Oops. Let's go steal some more units. And there we go. Now let me have a look here. Guards. Automatically create a Guard unit to defend the villages, automatically create a guard unit to roam the region. That would make two creation party size, auto guard creation threshold. Set the size of a garrison that has to be reached for a guard to be automatically created. Let's do like 150. No, let's actually do 200, no, 250, let's go to 150. Allow to upgrade troops, return threshold, I'll allow to sell prisoners, recruit prisoners. How much do I have them uh, actually grabbing? I think I want them at 150. Now, copy to all castles, copy to all towns. I need to get rid of the garrison units over there. Now we built the granaries, okay. I think this first taxes, then training field. This is going to be costing us a lot. Loads of money. As it were. Oh, I kind of want to piece these out because like, there's literally no point fighting them. There's no one to fight. actually get rid of some of these lower tiers. Get the workshop, orchards, fairgrounds. Spare the militia grounds. Okay, but all that's fine. This ain't fine. Kill them. I mean, since we are here, then it's almost night. Let's get rid of this. Oh, they're in for a nasty surprise. <laughs> Was there supposed to be a guy there? Ah! 
Oh, you lucky I missed. Yeah, that might be a problem if you have the small down. If you get a fire arrow in your face. This could be sped up. You don't really need a cutscene all the time. Now we do have governor's handle issues. That should uh, deal with most of the problems we do have here. My game with me mouse over. Okay, this is a decent party. I should be able to deal with bandits. Okay, manager garrison. Okay, these guys you want in there. These also. Not these, not these. have enough food. Orchards are high. Yeah, finally some peace. We are gaining a lot of uh, influence. I need to get all the policies straight. Oh Bjorn, why are you in the middle of enemy territory? I don't want that. That's gonna go bad. Why are all the guys... But of course, guys are gonna be up here if they're guarding that, right? Makes sense. We're only losing 4k. Okay, now let me look into some policies, or I could just. Okay, maybe that's a better idea. I'll wait until I get 500 influence. Okay, stream elements. Wait till I get 500 uh, influence, then uh, make uh, Bjorn and the other guy a clan. Maybe you should look if there's a tournament, right? Wind's Fury. That's a two handed scimitar, you yeah? know? Two handed sword. Unless. Now oh, look, we're fighting our own companions. Of 
course I'm gonna get the fucking bow, man. What the fuck? <laughs> well, we do have some points into bow. Already got the... Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to hit anything. Seriously? The armor is too good. Four five. Well, hello there. Oh, look at that. Our, our own gods. Good thing they actually have some, you know, horses. So we can actually catch the enemy. Look at that, 400 infantry. <laughs> infantry oh yeah, look at that. Imagine having like five, a thousand. Well, we're not going to have that high of a capacity. Like a thousand uh, heavy infantry, all elites. They didn't spawn a mile away this time. influence for that pretty good right we do have a lot of guys we need we do need to level up so we do need some loot oh yeah look at that noise Speed. Not like it really matters uh, how you upgrade things in which order. Can you catch him? Probably not. Nah. Lots of rebellions all over the place. Easy. Okay, that's the Western Empire. For a second there, I thought it was, what, it was the southern on the. Northern one, they're gonna steal that off. 
little onions. He may be dead. Well, he survived, apparently. Good man. It's annoying to find him. No, not him. Swordsman, send him a message. Peace to you. Peace to me. I do have to give him something, though. Yeah, the 500 influence. Why is this? Clan aim. Um... Let's see. What would be a Vikingish name? I have no clue. Let's go with that. Whoa, 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 whoa. How the keep how the hell did these keep getting so close to us without getting stomped by someone? And he just yeah. I do, I do wish they fought more. So we can get some more uh loot. Why do we have an army? Why? See, so maybe I can piece these out. No. Now, I'm not sure if they can break an alliance, but we do have a hundred relations with him, so we should be fine for a while, with him at least. Now, as for wars, we're probably going to go to war with Valandia and take this back. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to... Like, what's the idea gonna be for this maybe maybe we'll betray the northmen at some point and retake all that but i might just take all of this epicreta and uh, like a bit of batania and we're gonna end it there and then move over to banner kings because banner king i believe banner kings i believe is gonna take a while to actually get through a long while Right. Oh, we lost workshops. <laughs> of course we did. Never mind. Well, that lasted long. Yeah, this is. Oh, that's a bit shit. I mean, it's like it's not like we did anything to them. We do have their territory, well, half of their homeland, basically.
No. We will be... Okay, let's... Hmm. Well, the problem is the war exhaustion is on the, their side. Maybe it would be a better idea to go over there and try and kill them. Or kill as many of them. Fifty-two defenders to fifty-six. That won't be that hard to think. Especially if I get these two guys to join. It would be cool if you can tell uh, people like, no, you cannot recruit here. Fuck off. You. If you please. Now the problem is them being in an army is not gonna actually get anything done. Maybe and maybe I should hold on to these prisoners. The war exhaustion might go up for them, so they might actually peace out. Yeah, I think that's the, the, the idea here. Or the better idea. How the hell did you think you were going to catch him with 600 men? Come on, come on. There we go. Surrender or die. Uh, come on. Fight for once. Seven. Well, even the worst part is like you never, you have no clue where they're. Sh like it's no Northern Empire, so maybe they're up here. Yeah, that kind of looks like it. But we also saw them. Well, they were at our place, our area. Yeah, they span like that so we can actually catch him. Yes. One by one, I will catch you all. Is going up. Good, good, good. Maybe I should. Maybe I should chop their head off. All of them. Now nah, that would that would be too many. Uh, there's too many of them. Yeah, if you could tell uh, them so they can't recruit out of your villages. Or. Uh, like maybe uh, not be able to like go into a town because like as the Western Empire we did fight them all you know make a bit more sense be more convenient for the player there might be a mod for that at some point who knows some money I should 
Twenty. That's fine. I guess I'm just used to Eagle Rising where the, the cities make so much more money and there's so much other stuff you can do with them in terms of uh, building. Who are you at war with? Valandian. Hmm. Now, why can't you attack rebel settlements is beyond me. Oh, I do have an idea. Let's see if it works. Actually, yeah, okay. I'm just gonna see like that. We should be able to. Even as a king, as a leader of a faction who cannot declare war on a... Oh, that's annoying. Can I declare war on a fucking... Brebel? That's so fucking dumb. Why can't it be like total war? Like everybody's at war with rebels, so who gets it first, you know, has a settlement. I do have a I do have an idea though. Now we still have a truce. Probably if I had enough influence, and we're... I can't... How much is that? I think that's 700. Yeah, it sure looks like it. Like, if, if... You wait for them to take it, then you declare war on them when they're battered and bruised from the siege. Then you kick their ass. About the Northern Empire. Let's see, do we have support to go to war with anyone? Britannia, the Western Empire, and Valandian. We're just waiting for the truces to be over, but we do need to build up our towns anyway. My wife gained a level. I don't really need garrison capacity actually, so let's go for a uh, marketplace first. And food reserves. in a prison even though they're gonna escape immediately as per usual let's see get some troops food production definitely security change sure for them Let's get the guy that was the governor of that back in the party. This guy. Recall. Cool. 
King's bonus. Possibly noise. I do want to make the other guy a clan as well. So we can have a bit more. Five clans is so decent enough for the territory we do have. Well, yeah, you really don't want to give Nordic lords empire land. Yeah, the I think you kind of need to f play with Dino culture on to actually have fun. Otherwise, holding anything that's not your own culture is a pain in the ass. It can't be done. But anyways, a nice opportunity to gain some experience. Fortunately, when I get over there, we're going to get declared war by Volandia or some shit like that. Let's go for it anyway. Why don't you come our way? Come on. Or at least let the guys in your army go. I mean, I can't force them to dispense. How much? Would that cost me anything? Now nah, let's not lose any relations at this point. I should have enough to take that anyway. a lot of them in there. Eh. We can always start them out. Granted, I'm not sure if we can break down the walls before the seven days he goes up anyway. Hmm, look at that. So the... Hmm. I wonder if they're gonna offer us alliance as well. That would be interesting. Yeah, we're not gonna be even. Uh, it's already five days, four days, we didn't even build the siege equipment. Yeah, it might be a better idea to take this for myself. So I can make the other guy a clan as well. Yeah, I think that's the way to go here. Unless, let me have a look. Okay, everybody has at least one thief. How the fuck are they gaining more troops? The fuck? Troops are gaining fucking food. Right. They have a port, probably. <laughs> Would make sense, right? Ah, oh, never mind. They're, gonna, they're just gonna give up. And we do kinda need the money, I guess. Let's take all those and put them in the garrison. Increased melee damage. Maybe I should 
use that. Show mercy. Yes, uh, yeah, I'm gonna take this and try and get the uh, loyalty on the control. First, first things first, dungeon. Grab all the prisoners out of there. we can do about that though why are you running forgive me what may seem to be an abundance of caution but please keep your distance just beyond sword length is fine so who might you be Good. I'm not sure if these like clans pop up randomly because they, when they rebel, like the game just spawns them in, or are were they actual clans like before? I think the game spawns them in because if the clans that are in the game just rebelled at some point they would literally run out of clans. was annoying me like we have a couple of guys just chasing around the cavalrymen Stop running, god damn it. <laughs> you know, this guy has some decent troops on him. Kind of. Ten K experience, noise. Why well, didn't I uh, go for these? Right, because they would use, keep using the spear. I mean, riding 60, 72 hand athletics. You're just better going off with these because they do have more throwing weapons.
All right, let me check. There's the tournament. All right, there's not if uh, the city doesn't have the uh, like helmet icon on it. Three hundred fifty to form an alliance. They're not interested. You fools. <laughs> We just need a bit more. Okay, there we go. Uh, clan. What's his face? Bjorn. Watch him get wrecked instantly once I do give him a city. though. Let's just call his uh, Clan Iron Sign just because, you know. I know I would need to change the uh, not font. I thought I had a special character to make it, you know, the original Bjorn sign name or how it's supposed to be spelled, but Claim war on the Western Empire. Calculating. I mean, he's supported, that's for sure. I mean, what could possibly go wrong, right? Bunch of parties all over the place. He didn't actually run into the settlement. Oh, you fucked up now. Never mind, we can't catch him. He didn't fuck up. Gain the control of all the troops. Not really what I wanted. Especially since we. Do we have any siege equipment? Any siege equipment whatsoever? Of course not. No surprise there. Should have just let them do the thing. Yeah, probably should have. the letters first. Uh, 
What the f Okay. I'm not sure how they're exactly falling off. When it's so hard for you to get off or on the walls and ladders. Especially since there's invisible walls as well. Stop you. From doing anything nice and cool. Fucks up here. The fuck game. Oh my fucking god, get the le- Now they're all gonna- Why, why can't- they? Go over here, go here, you fucking morons. It's even worse. Just use the landers, you- Is there one for specific pixel I have to mouse over? Apparently so. Fucking go, God, Jesus Christ. And that's why I destroy the walls always. That pisses me off too much. And this, like, oh, we fix sieges, guys. We fix sieges. Like, yeah, my ass, you fucking fix sieges. God fucking damn it. Um, now we're gonna lose the probably everything down here this especially since it doesn't have any garrison units in there. I mean, I can... We probably can't get to it in time.
Let's give it to him because he is gonna lose the city down there. Yeah, unfortunately, with taking out all the. Oh, I can't. This is why you usually want to lead armies and you declare war on what you want yourself. Is this gonna make the kingdom look shit and make it impossible to defend? I mean, this is this is already impossible to defend. I'm just surprised they didn't um, kill it yet or take it yet. Well, I had a chance. You, sir, are fucked. Let's see. Yeah, pretty fucked. Seven hundred versus eight hundred and something. I think I'm gonna let them. No, these guys, they're just gonna sit there. Okay. No. What? I mean, this happened before. They just, when you're raiding a settle, uh, raiding a village, they just sit there and do nothing. They just look at you. Actually, just auto deploy. I'm, I'm gonna auto deploy and let them do their own thing. Just to uh, move the archers around. We do have a single battering ram, I believe. Which means I need to get through the walls. Should have come back. Troops spawn or something. They're going to go up to. Right. Now for me, they... Now then... Everyone! Soldiers! Sergeants! On my own sergeants in charge! Use the ladders! You... Okay. I'm not joining a siege ever again. 
Unless I'm leading it. Maybe the party didn't attack just because there is a lot more of us. Okay, it looks like they did go up a ladder. But all of them went up the same one. Treating. I'll just speed this up. At least we didn't get any losses. Although we might take some losses now in the fight after this. Especially if this guy abandons us, which uh, may be possible. Probably what's gonna happen. Siege. Thinking, are ya? You dumb fuck. This is the fuck. Fuck indeed. We do have a decent amount of garrison in there. We might be able to win that. If we can pull out the garrison and attack him then. Because the garrison should be the one I left in there, or for the most part. So tier 3 infantry and archers. Should be, that is. 